I am here at Melrose Abbey Cemetery, which is not even one mile from Angel Stadium. And some roadside baseball history here. This is where Claude Lefty Williams, one of the infamous Black Sox pitchers, is uh, laid to rest in an unmarked grave. So we can't show you that one, but I can show you this. This got my eye about 10 years ago. I came here looking for the grave of Jack Norworth. You can hardly read it there. He's the man that wrote the lyrics to take me out to the ball game. And when I saw this, it kind of bothered me that a guy who had given baseball something so historic was sort of forgotten like that. So myself and some other like-minded fans started raising some money. And I came back here to the cemetery and I told the woman who was in charge, hey, we want to put a new marker and replace what's there. And she goes, well, can't let you do that. State law says you just can't come in here and replace someone's marker if there's no next of kin, which there is not. So I started thinking and I said, okay, I knew I had some money in my pocket that we had raised. And I said, what's the closest I can get? Uh, to Mr. Norworth, kind of a nice spot for, uh, for two people. And she takes me over here. And so a few months later, back in July of 2010, we had a big ceremony out here. There were hundreds of people here, including Raleigh Fingers, the great Hall of Fame pitcher who emceed the event with me. And we unveiled the Jack Norworth marker here in Anaheim. It's right over here. And I am super proud of this. A lot of really great people got together on this. I actually wrote the text that is on here this beautiful marker which honors the man who wrote, which if you don't know is the third most performed song in American history behind the national anthem and happy birthday. Take me to the ball game right here at a mile from Angel Stadium at Melrose Abbey Cemetery.